and in the H2 case, we will begin this case. And within H2 case, we have let me copy this slave select is equal to select is equal to slave select address is a address right is right burst is 0 0 0 we are ready h ready equal to 1 and w data is equal to d data in a plus data in b and d out is equal to d out and we'll write the next state logic for this. If enable equal to one, then it should go to S1 state. Else it should go to ideal state we'll end the state and we'll write the logic for s3 state begin and in case of s3 state no write operation is taking place in s3 state so these are the in s3 state Select is slave select, address is address, write is write, burst is burst, but HW data is not data in A plus data in B, it is HW data itself. There is no write operation taking place in S3 state. And we'll write the next state logic for this. Enable is equal to 1. Begin next underscore state is equal to And else next and begin next underscore state is equal to add and we'll end the state and let's write the logic for default case default. default select will be equal to select its slave select address is h address and write is h write itself there is no change in this write h burst is h burst only there is no change in default case and h ready is equal to zero and hw data will be equal to hw data and d out will be equal to d out so this is the default case and next underscore state is equal to add ending the default case and ending the case and ending the process so yeah, this is the Verilog code for this HB master and I'm getting some errors here for such of H clock. Your present underscore state and Present underscore state. So yeah, this is the Verilog code for AHB master. That's all for th this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video.